Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Talha Parkar and in this video, I'll be taking you through the, through the process of creating a bullet graph in Tableau. So a bullet graph is usually used when you have to compare a goal with a certain achievement towards that goal. So right now I have a data set where I have sales and some targets that were achieved or needed to be achieved. So let's get started. So I want to see across my, let's say across my um, subcategories. So I'll add that to my rows. Then I'll take my target and my sales and I'll put them in my columns. And this was this is what you get. I'll go to show me and as you can see, I can easily create a bullet graph over here. And here we have it. So we have bullet graph over here. So the lines that you see, the black lines, they're the sales. And the bar represents the target. So if you want, uh, let's replace that. and that can easily be done by clicking on the axis, right clicking and then swap reference line field. So now you know that the black line is the target and everywhere we all want to achieve the target in this particular data set. So now this is how you create a bullet graph and you can see easily see that the dark gray is 60% of the average and the light gray is 80% of the average target. So that is what it represents. You could also decrease the size a bit you know you can do that if you want so that the highlighting at the background is visible so this is how you can create it via show me and if you want to do it on your own as in customize the whole thing that can also be done so now, now let's look at it via our ship modes so add my ship mode and actually not ship mode let's uh, take my regions okay. the different regions that we have and then and I'm selecting two of these together by pressing control so right now I just want my sales I'll take my sales I'll put it in my columns I'll take my target I'll put it in the detail one second I'll take my target I'll drop it in my detail and now I can come here I can click right click and click on add reference line and I want to add a line per cell that is a sum of target and it's total I do not want any labels uh, so when I turn on the labels one second if you look over here closely you can see the labels for the amount I don't want that okay I'll make that none I want the tooltip sure and I'll increase the thickness of the line so that it's clearly visible make it black and done that's it so now we have a line for ourselves and now uh, like we have the highlighting in this case you know where it shows that this is 60% of the average and this is 80% of the average target so we can have that as well again right click again click on add a reference line and this time we add a distribution so distribution uh, easily makes it easy for us to highlight you know so for example I could have a percentage a percentile you know a quantile a standard distribution and numbers are also up to me so let's keep them as they are and they, this is for a target or you could create a new parameter if you want and we want to look at the average, not the total or not the sum. So if you want, we can have a look at the total as well. But right now, let's stick to the average. Press o o OK. So now you see, I forgot to turn, on, turn off the labels. So let's go back, edit a reference line, not an issue. We come to edit. And under labels, we select none. And we want to fill below. As you can see here, in the previous, uh, I'll just go back and show. So fill below. And we want, uh, let's have a green and light green that would be much better i think it would be much visible much more visible so you can see that i have a green and light green and i can easily press ok and again just re reduce the size of the lines if you want you know this way we can easily see you know the 60 percent of the total target average 80 percent of the average target and this line is the total target and voila this is how you create a bullet chart so I showed you two ways one is via the show me feature available in Tableau one was customized thank you I hope you learned something new stay tuned to the channel for more content and make sure to hit the, hit the subscribe button thank you